Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From an ancient puppy that scientists want to bring back to life to enormous craters that grow bigger every day, here are 11 amazing discoveries from Siberia. Number 11. Severed Wolf's Head In eastern Siberia, a group of locals who were looking for ivory from woolly mammoths found the remains of a wolf's head on the banks of the Tirek Tayek River in Yakutia. After bringing their discovery to the Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Saka, the director of the Mammoth Studies Department discovered that it was between 30,000 and 40,000 years old. It was the first time the head of an ancient wolf with soft tissue still preserved had been found. It even had its teeth and fur. The wolf was an adult Pleistocene steppe wolf, which is a different lineage than modern wolves. Scientists are hoping to better understand how steppe wolves compare to wolves of today and find out how the species eventually died out. Thanks to the permafrost, the preserved tissue will allow scientists to build a digital model of the wolf's brain, while another team working in Stockholm analyzes the wolf's DNA. We still don't know what happened to the rest of the wolf, but it is common to find partial animals since many times the rest of the body could have decomposed or been eaten by scavengers. And keep in mind that 40,000 years is a long time. So over all of these thousands of years, it's normal for shifts within the permafrost to cause the carcass to break into multiple pieces. While ancient wolf cubs have been found frozen in the ice in Siberia, as well as many other young long extinct critters, it is rare to find adults. But now researchers believe that because of the warming climate, the permafrost is beginning to thaw, and now more discoveries will be found in the region. Things that are long lost can still be unearthed. Number 10. Doorway to the Underworld It's no secret that the ice is melting. Huge holes are appearing out of nowhere, and now it is making for some remarkable discoveries. One is the Doorway to the Underworld, a crater that is growing so rapidly that it's uncovering long-buried forests, animal carcasses, and up to 200,000 years of historical climate records. Officially known as the Batagaika Crater, it is known as a mega slump. The crater is already the largest of its kind and seems to be growing every day. Measuring almost 1 kilometer across and 86 meters deep, it has grown by an average of 10 meters per year over the past 10 years of observations. The land is collapsing, and without shade from the forest, the ground is heating more rapidly. Here people have found the semi-frozen remains of a musk ox, a mammoth, and a 4,400-year-old horse. Based on studies conducted by several universities from around the world, the site reveals periods of cooling and heating our planet has gone through. The last time Siberia saw the kind of action we are seeing now was 10,000 years ago, when the Earth transitioned out of the last ice age. Hopefully this will help us better prepare for what's to come, and learn more about what happened during the last ice age. Number 9. Ancient Puppy once again, locals discovered frozen remains of an ancient critter. This time, it was a 12,400-year-old puppy. The now extinct Pleistocene species was found close to human activity, indicating it may have been a pet, although it was just around two months old when it died from unknown causes. It's hard to know exactly when dogs became our best friend, but this was probably about the right time period. It was extremely well-preserved and nicknamed Dogor, meaning friend in the Yakut language. Dogor was so well-preserved you can see his fur, nose, whiskers, and even eyelashes. Genetic testing showed it was neither a dog nor a wolf. It looks like it came from a common ancestor to both, or an early version of either. Several other ancient puppies have also been found in Siberia that had their bones, heart, lungs, and stomach intact. It was likely they died in a landslide, were frozen, and then preserved in the permafrost. Scientists in Moscow have performed an autopsy and are excited to study the animal's brain, which is in excellent condition. They are also hoping to be able to clone the dog in the future to revive the species. That would be pretty cool to have an ancient species of puppy running around. Number 8. A Virus this one might probably be the scariest of them all. Imagine you're in the lab investigating mysterious discoveries from Siberia under a microscope when someone is like, here, take a look at this strange organism that we found frozen in the ice. Then you look at it and it turns out it's a virus that could exterminate millions. Great. Well, this actually happened a few years ago when a virus known as Pithovirus sibericum was harvested from permafrost in Siberia. The last time this virus infected anyone was 30,000 years ago. It is the largest virus ever found and is 50% larger than the second largest virus. 
When the samples were exposed to amoebas, the amoebas started dying. Some say that this virus is a real threat, but don't panic. Most scientists say that it is harmless to humans, though they are very concerned about one thing. What happens if a virus that was believed to be dead, or even a new virus, is harvested from the ice? One that is dangerous to humans. Could the world end if a virus is found frozen in ice and reactivated? Is the ice full of well-preserved viruses just waiting to be brought back to life? This is the most frightening discovery ever found that could potentially wipe out our entire existence. Not to worry though, I'm pretty sure. And now for number 7, but first, big shout out to Chelsea Bennett who is a huge fan, and Ariel Black. She commented on another video saying, love these videos, creepy but interesting. I think that could apply here as well. Number 7. Frozen Cave Lion Cub An incredible discovery made in 2017 is that of a young cave lion cub. A local resident discovered the cub along the banks of the Tirik Taik River, the same area as the wolf's head. Researchers believe it could be anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 years old, but was just about two months old when it perished. They nicknamed him Spartak. Measuring only 18 inches long, the baby lion is perfectly preserved. It has all of its limbs, baby teeth, and there are no traces of external injuries. When it was found, the fur was in remarkably good condition, and the cub was laying with his eyes closed and its head resting on its paw under its chin. Aww. The remains were so well preserved that researchers are investigating the possibility of bringing cave lions back to life. A few years ago in 2015, a pair of very young cubs were also found in Yakutia. Nicknamed Uyan and Dina, the little lions may have been abandoned at birth during the Pleistocene era, or perhaps their mother left and never came back. Another theory is that the cubs may have been buried in a landslide soon after birth. By studying these young lions, scientists have been able to find out that cave lions are close not only to modern African lions, but also to tigers. They lived during the Middle and Late Pleistocene era from Britain to the extreme east of Russia as well as Alaska and northwestern Canada before they went extinct around 14,000 years ago. These cub discoveries with well-preserved soft tissues might give us an opportunity to clone this extinct lion. Scientists are trying to better understand their significance in the ecosystem and determine whether they should be cloned. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Missing Link Found in Ancient Bones the discovery of ancient bones in the Altai Mountains could be a missing link that will help researchers understand the origins of humans. Dating back to no less than 50,000 years, the fragments of an early human skull and rib were found in the Strashnaya Cave. A tiny finger bone fragment was also found and is thought to date to at least 35,000 years ago. Professor Andrei Krivoshapkin, head of archaeology and ethnography at Novosibirsk State University, was really excited, saying that they were really lucky this year. They are expecting the skull to be from a Neanderthal man and the rib fragment to be from a Denisovan man, but results are still inconclusive. This would be the first discovery of human remains in the cave for more than a quarter of a century. In 1989, archaeologists found human teeth dating to the Paleolithic era around 20,000 years ago. This cave is located west of another more famous cave, the Denisovan Cave, where a bracelet was found. In 2008, a tiny finger bone fragment was discovered. When analyzed, it indicated that the bone belonged to a previously unknown subspecies of human that was genetically distinct from both Neanderthals and modern humans. Enter the Denisovans. Number 5. Ancient Toys Archaeologists may have come upon one of the oldest dolls in the world. Found in the Republic of Caucasia, a doll along with a carved dragon head of some sort were found in a grave of a small child dating back to the Bronze Age. People are now calling it the oldest toy collection in the world. It is a simple doll constructed from a piece of soapstone with eyes carved in the shape of almonds with thick eyebrows and high cheekbones that some say looks creepy. To be fair, some of the doll is missing. The rest of the toy would have been made of organic material, which is long gone. The carved animal head kind of looks like a dragon, but might be a horse and was carved from antler or animal horn of some kind. A doctor at the Institute of History of Material Culture believes that these toys would not have been reserved for a child in the elite class, and the other evidence in the grave shows they belonged to a common child of the Okunev people who lived in this region of Siberia at the time. The Okunev are believed to have genetic links to Native Americans. By studying these toys, along with other objects that have been discovered in the area over the years, archaeologists will better be able to understand the culture and traditions of the people who lived in the region. Number 4. 
mystery craters. When a giant crater was discovered in Siberia in July, speculation ran rampant. However, the discovery became even more curious when a number of other gaping holes were found in the Siberian wilderness. Separated by hundreds of kilometers, the craters were similar in appearance, only expanding the mystery, with scientists wondering what was causing the sinkholes. The first crater was found on the northern tip of the Yamal Peninsula. Unfortunately, the crater was unstable, meaning scientists were unable to explore the place until the rim stopped melting and falling inside. Finally, in November, scientists from the Russian Center of Arctic Exploration were able to go and explore the crater, take measurements and collect data, perform radio location tests, and take samples of the ice, ground, gases, and air. The largest of the craters measured about 30 meters wide and 16 and a half meters from the crater's rim to the surface of the frozen lake. The second is about 15 meters across and was discovered when local reindeer herders nearly fell in. The third, significantly smaller crater measures 4 meters in diameter but is believed to be about 6,000 meters deeper. As for how the craters were formed, Australian scientists believe the craters were formed by pingos, or large blocks of ice that form just under the Earth's surface that leave behind a gaping hole after the ice melts away. Another theory is the high levels of methane in the Arctic regions of Siberia could be the culprit. As the gas escapes, the Earth above suddenly sinks. Number 3. Ancient Stone Bracelet In modern times, diamonds might be a girl's best friend, but 40,000 years ago, stone bracelets were all the rage. Unearthed in a Siberian cave in the Altai region of Siberia in 2008, the bracelet is intricately made with polished green stone and was probably made for an important member of society. It was found along with a finger bone and other artifacts, including a ring made of marble. Made from green-hued chlorite, it is an amazing example of the craftsmanship of prehistoric jewelry. In bright sunlight, it reflects the sun's rays, and at night by the fire, it casts a deep shade of green. Scientists have concluded that it was made by our prehistoric human ancestors, the Denisovans, or Denisova hominins. They are genetically distinct from modern humans and Neanderthals. One of the most interesting pieces of evidence found on the bracelet was a hole made with a high-rotation drill, which, before this, people didn't know early humans knew how to do. This would have been made by a master artisan from the time, which means at least some Denisovans knew easel speed drilling, boring tool rasp, grinding and polishing with leather, and degrees of tanning. Because of this advanced artistry, some people have said it dates back even further. A researcher at the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography has dated the bracelet to 65,000 to 70,000 years old, long before humans knew how to make these objects. But Russia has accepted the 40,000-year-old date. And to be fair, who knows what these early hominids knew how to do, really? Everyone likes pretty things. Even some animals can't resist something shiny. Regardless, it is clear that the Denisovans were more advanced than Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, making this a particularly exciting discovery. Number 2. Knight's Bone Armor In the Siberian city of Omsk, archaeologists discovered a suit of armor made entirely of bone that is thought to belong to an ancient Siberian knight. Created almost a thousand years ago, the armor is made up of different plates comprised of small fragments of bone that have been joined together. What kind of bone, we're not quite sure yet, but the guesses are deer, elk, or horse. A researcher at the Institute of Archaeology and Ethnography says the armor would have belonged to an elite warrior and that it would have provided good protection from weapons used by warriors at that time, including bone and stone arrowheads, bronze knives, and spears tipped with bronze. Even more curious is the fact that the armor was buried by itself and not alongside a body. Because armor was very valuable during the Bronze Age, the fact that it was buried separately suggests that it might have been buried as some sort of offering. The site where the armor was found includes a number of monuments from different eras spanning from the early Neolithic to the Middle Ages. After cleaning and reconstructing the armor, researchers will be able to construct a replica of this suit and show off this amazing archaeological find. Number 1. Neanderthal Hybrid One particular cave in Siberia has a long history of remarkable discoveries. From the 41,000-year-old pinky bone, whose DNA didn't match humans or Neanderthals, to the three teeth that turned up in the cave, scientists continue to be stunned by the discoveries in this location. A new discovery made in 2018 shows that the Denisovans link the distant past to the present. 
After a DNA analysis was done on a bone fragment found in the cave, it was determined that it belonged to the daughter of a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. When researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Biology first tested the material, they thought that maybe they had received false results. However, after repeating the experiment six separate times, the evidence was clear. Although Neanderthals and Denisovans split from one another about 400,000 years ago, these discoveries show that the two groups not only inhabited the same place, but that they were there at the same time. Even more remarkable is the fact that traces of Denisovan DNA have been found in humans living today in Asia, providing a link to the past that seems even closer than first believed. Thanks for watching! Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you soon! Bye!